Hey everybody, welcome to That Farm Charm. I'm Jen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bow with your ribbon without having a bow maker. It's not all that difficult, but it is different depending on whether you have ribbon that's printed on both sides or only one side. So the ribbon I'm using today is printed on only one side. So we want to make sure that our print shows in our bow and that it doesn't look backwards. So you loop each side and hold it in the middle like I just did. Create the size bow you want by the size loops that you create. So this is going to be a little bit bigger bow. Then as you make your third loop, you've got to make sure that your print stays on the outside. And so basically you'll be stacking it on top of what you already have. And when you go with your fourth, it's going to slide in underneath that top piece. You can see that there. I have two loops on both sides. Now I'm going to make a third loop on both sides. Again, it's going to slide in. That's really the only way that you can keep your pattern showing on the right side. It kind of tucks into the other loop. Finally, I'm going to do a third loop on the opposite side. Just keep that middle secured. Doesn't really matter where they end up at this moment. We're going to fix all that in a second. So then you want to cut your ribbon free. I usually cut it an angle. And then hang on to it and don't let go. Now you need to cut another piece to tie the center. So I'm doing that here. And then typically lay it under your bow. Bring it around and tie it in the middle and when you first tie it kind of make some adjustments try to make it even on both sides you can always fix this later but if you fix it first that would be better now this is not a super full round bow this bow is um, a little different it's not like something you'd see in a floral arrangement, but more like an actual bow that you would tie for your shoes or whatever, just with several loops. So I'm adjusting this, and the ribbon that I'm using here has wire in the edges, and that makes it easier to shape your bow. And I highly recommend using wire-edged bows. I'm sorry, wire-edged ribbon uh, for your bows. So here I'm just making adjustments making sure that my sides are even. You can slip them through the middle knot easily back and forth until you even things up. So I'm kind of giving it some shape. And this bow is going to be used with something in the center. So I'm going to put a flower in the center or a jewel or a button or whatever I, I find that I think might look nice in the center of this bow. So that is why we're leaving the center the way that it is. We're making room to add things to it for decor. You could also layer another bow smaller on top of this one for your project. So now I'm just making final adjustments, fixing that center tie, and fluffing it up a bit. It looks really nice, It'd be perfect for just about any project and you can garnish the middle with whatever you choose. So I hope that this uh, helps you to make um, some bows for your project that are beautiful and that you enjoy. Thanks for following That Farm Charm.